I say to you, brothers and sisters, and our guests, you, you owe it to yourself. Punch in the name Qur'an, Q-U-R-A-N, punch it in, and see if you can compare, see if you can find a scripture, see if you can find a writing, see if you can find a document that compares with the Qur'an. You will not. Even the Bible, the gospel that Jesus Christ recited, he didn't have it underneath his arms, he wasn't walking around with a book. And nobody memorized what he brought and when he left. There were pieces of it, different people had. But the Qur'an was revealed in the life of the Prophet, peace and blessing be upon him, over 23 years. And guess what? While he was living, he transferred it in its entirety to his followers. And they transferred it to their children and other generations so that here in this room and in every other gathering of Muslims there's at least one or two or three or four, maybe ten people who have memorized the 6,626 verses of the Quran in its entirety. It has been preserved since that time. I ask you, if all the Bibles in the world, all the Bibles in the world were thrown in the ocean, who would produce the Bible again? Nobody could, because they don't even agree about what the Bible is now. But if all the Qurans were thrown into the ocean right now, all of them, we could produce the Qur'an all over again. We could bring a Chinese Hafiz, memorizer of the Qur'an, a Russian memorizer of the Qur'an, an American memorizer of the Qur'an, a German memorizer of the Qur'an, who didn't even know each other. They would all come here together, and in two days, they could all recite simultaneously, and the Qur'an is back again. You owe it to yourself to read this powerful scripture. Don't ignore it. You cannot afford to ignore it. Either it's profound, either it's from God, either it is comprehensive, either it is as I say it is, or it is not. At least you should investigate it. Why should you be blind to something that might have that kind of impact on your life and the life of others? After all, this is not the legislation of Muhammad, peace and blessing be upon him. It is the legislation of whom? Almighty God.